uh, we're going to be uh, talking to some, uh, uh, this is gonna be a new series of uh, comedians who play uh, on Cooligans FC, which is a soccer team that is made up uh, predominantly of comedians. Uh, okay, so today's guest is going to be uh, comedian Sarah Talmash. Just been doing that, a lot of self-improvement. Like I'm trying to get out of debt right now. I don't have a lot of debt, it's just like enough where I think about it all day long. Do you guys have that debt? <laughs> One time I did get out of debt, and then I was like, now what? <laughs> now I have nothing to live for anymore. <laughs> so I just put myself back into debt again. <laughs> Feels good to have goals, you know? <laughs> like, if you pay your debt off, that's great, but if you don't and then die, like, that's pretty great, too. <laughs> um, hey. Sarah, what's up? Good, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Um, Pretty good. All right, good. Yeah, dude, uh, I feel like the, either you were just working out or you took a shower. What happened, which, which, which was it? <laughs> I went for a walk, but I haven't been really giving a shit. My favorite is when someone goes, is it raining outside? <laughs> no, no look at this, look at this. I'm a mess. Yeah, I just put it in braids. I, that's why I actually I'm letting my hair go. This is the longest it's, it's ever been, and I'm thinking that I'm gonna braid my hair when this is all over. Yeah, you should. That that that'll be the way to you know like commemorate the victory that we yeah, we yeah. survived COVID. Uh, so uh, so Sarah, uh, thanks for for hanging out. Um, so let so this so this is the first time I'm doing this, and this has been my uh, attempt to uh, introduce more comedians to the soccer community, right? Because yes. We've been doing this, uh, the, the show, for about five years. We've been playing, so you've been playing soccer definitely with us for uh, easily about three or four already. Yeah, easily. And uh, so I, I forgot how I got, I forgot who told me that you played soccer. I don't remember because it was always, the, obviously we play on a co-ed team and yeah. the challenge was finding female comedians uh, that also played soccer, which there's there's probably 10 in New York City. I don't know, there's not too many. I don't even know, it doesn't feel like a lot. I'm, I'm always like a fantasy that we can get a league going with to play other comics, but I don't, it's just hard. It's very, I, given that like everybody pretty much grew up playing soccer, but they, they, they gave it up at like whatever, you saw college, it's not cool anymore for whatever reason. Yeah. But then there's people like you uh, who are unbelievably good at soccer, where I just, <laughs> like, I, I, I didn't grow up with the game. And then I saw you play. And, uh, and I, you know, if people, I know people based on their stand-up sets, right? Yeah. I know, and I assume their personality. I assume their, their complete history, uh, everything. And I'm like, Sarah, so, Sarah so wants to play? Okay, cool. I'm sure she plays soccer the way she presents herself on stage, you know, yeah. you know, clever or coy or, you know, uh, small, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, and, flamboyant. yeah, yeah. But no, when, when you're playing soccer, you're a badass. It's incredible. Uh, thank you. So I wanted to know what, um, how did you get into the sport? And, uh, yeah. And like, what was your introduction to it? Um, I don't know. I remember I was doing gymnastics and then I quit it because it got really, it got weird because you're an individual and then I, they put, bumped me up onto this like level. And then I also had like weird coaches one, I don't know. It got weird. So I quit it. And then my mom was like, maybe you would prefer to do team sports. And she, she's from England. And so. Oh, your mom's she, from England? Yeah. So oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, she grew up in South Africa, but she was born in England. And so culturally, out of the sports, we liked soccer. Yeah. They never got into American football here. So she put me into soccer, and then I really liked it, and I just stuck with it. Yeah, what, at what age did you start? Um, it was like when those, like, peewee leagues, you know, when you do, like, bunch ball. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I don't 
don't even think I was in kindergarten yet. I must have been five or six when I started. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, that's what I'm starting to see, like, I, I because I, I didn't grow up with the game, and now I'm learning about how, sort of how it works at, like, the youth level. But there is, uh, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, organization at that at that young age to ho hopefully get people into the, into the sport. Did you play? You grew up in Houston, right? Yeah, I grew up in a suburb outside of Houston called Kingwood, and they had a really good soccer league where we had personal trainers that we all pooled our money in together. And then um, then you would do division, you know, one and two, or they would call it gold back then or blue. Yeah. And then we, I did that. And then I wasn't ever the best, but uh, the competition was pretty stiff. And I also didn't have a lot of, I don't know. There were girls that were just really good that were in like Olympic development. They called it ODP. Yeah, yeah, that which is uh, that that it no longer exists, I believe. Yeah. Uh, they they like. Uh, I mean, now there's like a whole new system that they, they the the system that replaced ODP is now gone, and now they just replaced it literally like two weeks ago with something yeah. else, and all the parents are like, kind of going crazy because they're like, my kid was in this system. And now I have to like figure out, you know, where <clears throat> where I'm gonna take them to, to end up going to play. Uh, yeah. So it, it's it's generally pretty confusing. I could imagine. I don't know what it's like for a kid. Your kid is just like, you know, I'm sure it's like mom drive me to the game, and then, and then I'm you know, and then that's it. Oh, they still so some Matt Bernie just said they still have ODP. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I don't know uh, like how. Um, I, I just don't know how it works. That's what, kind of the weird thing about. The, the, I'm, I'm you curious. Get scouted, from what I gather, like you just create your own. You get heat. Like there'd be like one or two girls that just definitely have were way in another league with speed and athleticism, and then uh, I think they got scouted. And then you try out for it, and then it would just be regional. So it would be like South Texas and North Texas. Okay. Did yeah. you did you play with anyone that ended up kind of going far, or do you remember anyone? No, the most girls that I played with, even the ones that were really great, they took it to college, and then after that, like it, there's no yeah. career in it. <laughs> yeah, it's either you're one of like the thirty women that make it to like the women's national team, and then that it's yeah. it's pretty tough after that. Yeah, it's like yeah. at least now there's a there's a league. Um, that's like, you know, sustaining itself and it's been around for a little bit. All right, we got a co total soccer show is here. There's a bunch of people that, all right, so just so people uh, who are just tuning in. So this is Sarah Talamash and uh, she's a comedian friend of mine. Uh, I've known her for years and she also plays on Cooligans FC, which is the Sunday league team that we play in uh, at NYC footy. So again, I just wanted to get more people aware of like, all the, we have some amazing comics. We, we can't win games, but our comedians have credits. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my God. We have, I know I'm, every year I'm like, this, come on. <laughs> We're much better comedians than we are soccer players, but yeah. we should still get some recognition for the effort. Uh, but you, um, yeah, I love playing uh, with you because you uh, have like a, um, a great, a vi you have a great vision on, on the field, but also you do, you do a great move that, and again, if you see, if you watch Sarah do stand up, you, it's not like you talk about playing soccer or anything like that. You just don't, it's just, it, it, you're so unassuming and you do this thing that is super hard to defend. You have that, that, that like chop, that chop move. Oh, the cut, yeah, the cut. Oh, it is. I mean, it's so, Easy. And then every time you're like, oh, my God, I can't believe you fell for it again. <laughs> yeah, it's great because, again, it, it, it was like, uh, uh, you know, every time you have the ball, I'm just like, oh, man, she's going to she's going to get some, you know, uh, you know, like a software developer that we're playing against, you know, embarrass him on the field. <laughs> and it's, it's great to see. Is, is that your favorite move? Is that the, the, the thing that kind of stuck with you the most? Or, or did you, like, yeah, how have you maintained your soccer ability throughout the years? Um, well, I, anytime, it's hard because with stand-up, and eventually you would just do the, you're on the road a lot. So you don't have your Saturday and Sundays, but any in Houston, anytime that I had moments of free time, I would find a league and I would just play. And then occasionally when I have a downtime, if I, I, I like going to the park and just like juggling. 
or like doing moves and then growing up too i used to do this thing like i could play on a street so i'd kick the the ball against the curb and sometimes you wouldn't figure out which direction it would go in and then you would play around with that or i would hit it on the roof of my ha garage and wait for it to bounce and then i would try to trap it and then i would that's how i would practice by myself that's great yeah that's um i'm doing this thing called um techni football which is um a kind of a similar thing for, uh, it, it, it was created by a former women's national team player uh, who, who's done our show. Her name is uh, Yael Averbush. And she just created this app that kind of explains all those things. So I didn't grow up with any of those. I didn't know what drills to do, you know, especially now that we're all like in isolation and we, yeah. we can't play the game or we can't be around really other people. So I've been doing a lot of those things like, uh, and, and I've gotten a lot better at, they, she, she, they make you practice juggling a tennis ball which yeah. is at first it was like, who can do this? This is impossible. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. I, after like a, like a month and a half of doing it, I'm like, I think, you know, maybe like five or six, I can, I can do it. I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, no, those are like those skill, like, and I learned a lot. And when I went to camp of like what you did to make your foot skills better. Yeah. 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 I've been, I've been doing, I got little cones and everything. It's just weird. Cause I'm like, you know, so a dude in his thirties and there's like, teenage girls rocketing the ball to, off the goalpost, yeah, yeah. you know? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I'm Not trying to alone. Every time I go to this park down the street, there's always some dudes there just practicing their foot skills by themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was uh, going to ask as well. Um, uh, so, oh wait, so you say your, your mom grew up in England. I know, I, I know you, you were born in South Africa, right? Yeah. And uh, did she play? Did she play soccer? No, you know what? Uh, sports for girls was different where my mom grew up. It was like field hockey, but nobody, soccer wasn't big in South Africa. It was more like rugby was the sport or cricket. Yeah, yeah. when did you leave South Africa? I was, uh, I moved here in 78. So I wasn't even a year old when my parents moved here. Okay. And then just the neighbor, the town that I grew up in, soccer, if you weren't playing uh, football, my parents weren't really into American football. So we, soccer was the second biggest sport here. And in fact, we did better in soccer than we did in football. So it was the more important sport in the town that I grew up in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, rare in some cities. I feel like especially Texas, you would just get bullied for playing. You know what I mean? Like, well, <laughs> I went to a predominantly white school, so our football team was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's when you want that diversity, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. So uh, everybody uh, watching, feel free. If you have any questions, uh, feel free. Uh, uh, Sarah, uh, absolutely hilarious comic. Uh, she's uh, been on Comedy Central. On she's on Colbert. Uh, a, a bunch of other stuff. I, you, you have a, a, a great podcast uh, that you the Vag. Yeah, Vag. It's it it's just it's not Vag podcast. It's just Vag. Yeah, it's just Vag. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the, and that that's also awesome. And um, yeah, I, I wanted to bring up this story because, um, and, and you can tell me about it because I was not there, but the day that you lost the tooth. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. That's the thing that now when you're an adult, especially if you don't have insurance, you can't play like the way that you want to play. Yeah. So it was one of those balls, I call them hospital balls or 50-50s where you're both, it's in the middle and you're both going for it. But so, the guy that kicked it, kicked it really hard. And I was at point blank range. And I took a ball to the face, and I chipped this tooth and this one, and then the back here, and I had to get them fixed. Oh, I and didn't the know. Jaw was off. I couldn't close it properly. <laughs> I didn't realize it was three teeth. I thought I knew of one. I thought it was just like the front one. Yeah, it was a big chunk here, and then a chunk here, and then in the back, it chipped it back there because of the clench. How did the uh, from the clench the the back yeah. one got? Oh, wow. Ah, I feel so bad. I felt so bad when I heard about it. I think I was away. I've never took a ball to the face that hard before. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, I'm too old for this shit. I have, um, I, I played in Park Slope um, in a, a meetup group. Um, and I took a ball, not to the face, but to like, you know, it, it was like, it was the side of the head. But the interesting thing was that, that day, I was like, hey, you know what? This must have been like my second year like playing kind of 
in the league and like really trying to improve. So this day I was like, you know what? I'm going to set up my GoPro uh, on, on like the, the, one of the fences. Yeah, yeah. So I could just like see how I play and make improvements. And the day I put the camera up is where I get hit in the head so hard <laughs> with the ball. Just, um, I, I think that what, what more leagues should do, especially if you play in like smaller spaces, our league can't really do it, but like, uh, there should be more uh, futsal balls so that the balls that can't bounce up or that they're too, yeah, yeah. essentially too heavy. Uh, or those could also be more, you know, more, more of a projectile if you do get hit in the, in the face. Yeah, I had to sit out. I was like, I have to sit out. There's times where you're just like, I can't play right now the way that I just took that ball. <laughs> did, did, the, did your teeth immediately fall? Like you saw them on the ground? I managed to find this one. Um, or no, I think it was right here. It was the big chip. I managed to find that one right away and it looked like a little tiny rock. Um, <laughs> but they, it's not like they connected it. We just put a, like we molded it when I got oh, to the dentist okay. the next day. Yeah. I mean, I've, it, it's, uh, you know, cause I'm like the one who's like putting the team together. So, I, you know, I don't feel, I don't, I'm not a leader per se, but there's a little bit of like, Oh my gosh, she lost her tooth and it's my fault, right? Yeah, if I wouldn't no, have yeah. asked her to play. <laughs> Although every now and then for stuff like that, you wish that the league just had a little pool of money that they could just give to you to help fix your teeth. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we should we should do like a, a GoFundMe every time, uh, you yeah. know. <laughs> Luckily, there haven't been too many injured. Uh, Shex, I just said, that's hardcore. You're like a hockey player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was, uh, there haven't been too many injuries that, that we had another Kevin Hall who was playing goalkeeper once took a kick to the shin and uh, fra yeah. and fractured. Were you there for that? I wasn't there for that, but I had one. I still have a marking on my ankle where I'm like, I don't understand why that's still there. I took a slide tackle to it with the cleat straight to the ankle. And that one, I thought I had maybe chipped a bone on that one, but nothing bad had happened, but it definitely left a weird scar. <laughs> you know what's weird? It's like we are uh, – we're at an age where we shouldn't be risking an injury like this, but no, we can't – You know what that's from? It's from not being um, in good shape. Like good conditioning takes you – will make sure that you don't get injured like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's the tough part. We're never going to get there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I can't stop playing. I, I don't know what it is exactly. There's just the, the game is too satisfying. Even if, yeah, we lose a whole bunch of games, but it's just like, I can't give it up. No, I mean, I'm like bummed right now because I was really looking forward to the season because I took up running um, several months prior. So I knew that I was going to be in way better shape on the field. So I was really looking forward to playing. So I was quite bummed. But I still keep, I've been running a lot now. So. Now I'm excited to get back to playing again because of that. Yeah, I hope it starts uh, sooner than later. I, I've been, there's a, right by my apartment, there's a, there's a school and it has a, it has a track. Uh, and I hate running. I hate running for the sake of running. But yeah. I was like, all right, I, whatever. I just need something to do. Uh, and I've been running. And I, I, I timed myself and I, I ran a, a mile in like eight minutes and like 30 seconds. That's great. Just great. Look, and I'm and I hate it. I'm not even interested in running. And I'm, apparently, I'm an expert. So it's, I, it's possible I could have. Uh, it, w it could have been a calling for me. Uh <laughs> yeah, like I think they were like lately. Now I joined a running app, Runkeeper, and they're all about trying to get you under a 25 minute three mile. So you're close to it. So that's okay. What you're to. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna push myself. I mean, after once I w running two laps, I'm like, I hate this. Why do people do this? I know, but it's so good on the field, though. Yeah, I just yeah. think of all those times I'm just gassed, and I know exactly why I'm gassed. It's just because I don't run as much as I should be running. Uh, Total Soccer Show asks, what are, what are Christian's pre-match team talks like? How do I inspire <laughs> the group? We're mainly looking for players. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because a lot of us don't show up, so we need to ask people. Yeah, yeah if you Annihilate us. I always feel like everyone's at a wedding every weekend. <laughs> yeah, we we're at an age where everybody, it's too many, once you're in your 30s, 40s, uh, too many people are getting married. Uh, yeah, I, it. <laughs> cut it out. We're trying to win some games. Uh, it, I, it, sometimes I, I think about like, oh, should I 
try to in, inspire the group to try to, you know, then, then I'm like, what, am I going to fucking take this seriously? What are well, we- <laughs> it's hard because I know that you start you, you did, you wanted to set up practice and practice would be really good. But like, um, getting to there on a Sunday from Astoria, Queens almost takes three hours out of my day. It's like, yeah, insane. yeah, yeah. And I just moved to New Jersey. So it's like tough for me, uh, yeah, as yeah. well. Um, yeah, it, it's like, uh, um, just getting, I mean, realistically, getting adults to do anything together is nearly impossible. I, I'm, a, I'm actually surprised that that I, we could have, like, Zoom calls this organized. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I've been able to, like, see people I haven't seen in years because everyone's stuck at home. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of liking it. I feel like I've been more productive because we've cut down on our amount of travel time. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but look, I mean, we're missing out on all that... Uh, uh, two dots time playing on my phone. Do you ever play two dots? No. It's a very addictive game. You know what's weird though? I was gonna play at that game, that last game. I think it was March fifteenth, and I went on Instagram and I was like, "Should I go?" And it was very fifty fifty. Yeah. Uh, but, but then they canceled it. I think even before did, we had a chance to show up. They did cancel, and that was a. I was gonna go as well. And, and, but my girlfriend, she's a nutritionist and she was in the middle of like, kind of hearing all this news, you know, she works with doctors and everybody was saying like, you shouldn't even risk it. And I'm like, but I, you know, I love soccer more than I am afraid of COVID-19. <laughs> so, I was like, you know, we're not really, if we play a passing game, we can. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to change the strategy a little bit and we can social distance safely. <laughs> maybe make this work I still, I still think that way where i'm like i mean well, i i run with the mask on it doesn't really deter me that much that i'm hoping in the next year we can get back to playing again yeah i'm i'm i mean like I, i've been sort of paying attention to yeah i think when sports comes back in general there's a, at least a possibility uh because you you started seeing i think cuomo just started saying like that um the, the teams from the different uh, leagues in New York can start training. So I'm just like, all right, he's talking to me directly, right? Yeah. He's, uh, he's, really <laughs> he's really focusing on what's important, and I appreciate yeah, going yeah. to Cuomo right now. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. I'm, um, yeah, that was a tough um, – that day, that game that, that got canceled that we were going to go play, I got into like a – not a fight with my girlfriend, but it was, it, it was like, you know, in, in – it, obviously, in hindsight, she had complete, she was completely reasonable, but I'm just like, yeah. I, I didn't say that she was being crazy, but I'm just like, I kept it to myself, but I'm like, I feel like she's being crazy right now. You're, you're like, I think we could still pull it off. I was <laughs> more concerned about my travel to the game than I was about catching it on the field. Yeah. Yeah. I was, um, if we were out in the open. Yeah. Yeah. It, it seems, I, it feels like, uh, I, I think with the information we know now being out in the open, probably a little less, you know, even in the league that we play in, it's not super like high contact or like, nobody's really like on top of you like that. Um, yeah, no, it's not but bad. That, 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 that week, that Wednesday, um, I went to a game at Rebel Arena to watch a, a, a CONCACAF Champions League game, but this was like the, then it, that was the 11th and then the 12th was like when everything started. But that was the day uh, – there were a couple people who, who, who are, like, fans of the show that were like, hey, Christian, what's up? And they're like, hug, everything. And I'm like, oh, man, I don't, yeah. I, I don't want to say no, but I'm also terrified. Yeah, we're like, we can't do that. Well, Joe was telling me he watched a doc – not a doc, but, all, you know, now what we know, the re, with Italy, why they – at least one northern town got hit really hard is because there was one town where they had a soccer team that was finally doing well. And so people were coming to the games and I think they had won and then they detected, I, th I think it was an insane amount of people that got infected from that one game. Yeah, yeah. There, I saw, I just saw a story of um, a game, a Champions League game and I think it was um, in Spain or something. Uh, and they, they, they could uh, connect like 42 deaths from that one game. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, when you hear stuff like that, it's uh, all of it. Yeah, it's terrifying. It, it's it's strange that um, I didn't think so losing soccer would hurt me so deeply. 
Uh. Yeah, I, I definitely, well, I was having that thing, um, cause sometimes like I like, I really like stand up, but it was making me not feel very fulfilled. And I always was really happy after I left a game and I joke about it. Like I've done two late nights and that goal that I scored off the corner kick was felt way better than any late night set that I've ever done. <laughs> Yes, and we should mention that because uh, Sarah Talamash scored in Olimpico in in our league, and I, it was I gave you a Never huge hug, gave you the biggest hug. I was like, Sarah, you're a goddamn boss. This is was unbelievable. <laughs> I I think about it, and it makes me it goes. It's like a happy place for me. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it was the keeper did not expect it at all. I I don't think. It, that was a, another one of those things was like, I didn't know Sarah had this in her arsenal. It, this, she, yeah. she should, this should be on her resume. She has a cannon for a foot. <laughs> she, and yeah, you took a, a, a corner and I mean, it has, it had a ridiculous bend on it. I was on the field. I was like waiting to hopefully get a header or something. I was hoping that I would just loft it into the middle and then hopefully one of you guys would be there to <laughs> head it in or like on the backside of it. But I didn't. I know to lean my body back to get it to loop, but I didn't realize it was going to go straight to the upper 90 part. Yeah, dude, it was, uh, yeah, near post. Uh, keeper didn't expect, Keeper got a hand on it, but couldn't really yeah. stop it. Uh, it was a, a great shot. And yeah, one of my, one of my favorite moments playing, uh, just, just getting to be there and, wit and witness that because it feels like we did oh, this together. Satisfying. <laughs> Yeah, like I also get satisfaction of hitting a soccer ball off of a volley. Oh, well, that's the best. I mean, I mean, when you miss it, it feels like the worst. But when you get your foot on that ball and change the direction of it, it's amazing. Nothing better. You know, you know how they have those um those Instagram accounts that are like satisfying videos of just like. I don't know, people pouring fudge or something like that. Like, or cutting soap or cutting, something. <laughs> <laughs> like getting, hitting a volley is, should, is its own version yeah. of, uh, of satisfaction. Like the, when people love the swoosh of a net with basketball. Yeah. It's that feeling of like not hitting the rim. It just goes. Were like, you there for the header I scored? I don't I'm think. I'm not sure. I know we had really few good goals the last few games that we played. Yeah, there was one uh, off a corner. Uh, that Kevin Hall took the corner and he, I don't, I, like, I, th I just re remember, I don't even know if the ball bent. I just, from the angle that I, I it seemed like he rocketed it directly to my face and yeah. I was able to, <laughs> to direct it, but, but I vividly remember, I don't remember, I think I closed my eyes when I hit the ball, but I remember the sound of the net because it sounded like a basketball. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you hear it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing better. Uh, so. No, nothing. I feel like the, the, or even like a good pass is like an amazing feeling. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Phil, Phil Spittle is on here, who was uh, at that game as well. He said oh, it was a majestic <laughs> header. <laughs> yeah, okay. So look, if people think we're fibbing, you know, or, or just no, making stuff. We've got sources. <laughs> and we got a comment here from Ryan Rittman. He says, I used to find porno mags in the trash cans at the soccer fields on the way home from school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, great. <laughs> I don't think I ever found porn on the soccer fields that I was playing at. Uh, I, I mean, I grew up in Brooklyn, so I just found it right on the street, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was in the woods. <laughs> that was that was our library. Okay. Yeah. We, <laughs> we need a we need a porno card to check it out. And just make sure you bring it back in yeah, a reasonable yeah. amount of time. Uh, <laughs> um. So yeah. So uh. All right. So this is this was fun. I'm glad we got to do this. Um. Uh. Yeah. So again, uh, Sarah Sarah Talamas. Wait. Did someone just knock? I think I was worried. My girlfriend might be knocking. She's not. She would text me if she was. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, this is good for uh, live uh, internetting. Um, yes. The, uh, yo, uh, yeah, Sarah's absolutely great. Uh, hilarious comic. Uh, she has a, a great uh, podcast. Again, Badge with uh, Adrian Appalucci. Yeah. Uh, how's Adrian doing? I haven't seen her in so long. She's good. We, we've been podcasting with Zoom. So it's, 
um, a lot easier because now we don't have to coordinate a place that we're going to be at the same time. So we can just do it whenever now. Yeah, that's that's been um, like we're, we're still doing our show. And I think when this all started, we didn't know like what would end up happening. But it's like it, there's a weird like part of it that's like it's, it'd be nice if we, we did this a little bit more often. Right. <laughs> I feel. Yeah, I agree. Because we I mean, we were having to like do it at like Tuesday at midnight, which was driving me insane. Yeah, that I yeah. prefer this method a little bit better. The, the one thing I don't like about it is the um, uh, the timing is a little off and you can't riff well on that stuff. Yeah, that's like yeah. The, the, the challenging part. But I, I feel like I've gotten a little bit more used to it over the last like few weeks, but it still it doesn't replace the timing of like really yeah. going back and forth. Oh, yeah, I've been doing some comedy shows in Zooms, and that's weird, but you start getting used to it, that you start developing humor solely based on Zoom rooms. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I did uh, Power Hour, yeah, you know, Amy Shanker. Yeah, I know, who, yeah, I know Amy. Yeah, I did, I just did her show on Saturday, and uh, it was uh, really fun, but the, 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 the theme of their show is to, like, you know, other people can interrupt you and talk in your set, and that is really helpful because of the, you know, regardless of if you have a joke that works, it just doesn't feel like it works. Yeah, who knows? I have no <laughs> idea. I swear the other day I was like, I think I'm pretty sure I bombed this Zoom show, but I have no idea. But it definitely <laughs> felt like a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, Amy messaged me after. She was like, oh, thank you for doing the show. You were so funny. And I'm like, you're lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> There's okay. no way to tell. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. Okay, enough of this <laughs> nonsense. Uh, but maybe, yeah, look, I don't know. When do you think co comedy's coming back, uh, live shows? Any any guesses? I don't know. I'm doing one tomorrow at Bel Air Diner. It's a drive. They're doing uh, they do drive-in movie theater. So they're doing a stand-up show to tomorrow. Oh, okay. It's in Queens Astoria or Astoria Queens. Yeah. But um, I don't know. In my mind, Broadway is not coming back right till 21. That I feel like I would think comedy shows would follow suit. At least in New York. I don't know what the the other states that have very low counts are going to do. Yeah. I but mean, I don't even feel like, um, you know, travel, like to go travel to these states, is it really worth putting yourself, you know, with a lot of people just to do perform a, you know, a state that's all right. Like, a, I mean, yeah. travel already beforehand was annoying. I can't imagine now what it's going to be like with COVID. Yeah. Or even for, for the audience, how willing are they going to, be to, to 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 be in in you know in a crowd obviously like uh, the big comedy clubs like you know the, the the chains those might they might be able to like you know distance the people enough where you could still have like a hundred people in a room and they're not too yeah. close to each other but i mean the, the clubs in new york it's gonna be uh yeah who knows who knows uh i mean I, I don't know i mean knowing if you watch like that missouri the ozarks photo that every oh, yeah. video people were sharing you're like well it looks like they don't give a shit. But then those are the audiences that I feel like I wouldn't do well in front of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has to all be like anti-mask material, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to win them over. <laughs> oh, man, well, I hope we get to do what, uh, you know, what we enjoy doing, which is telling jokes and playing soccer soon. I know, so. <laughs> we have two things. It's only two things. Are limited. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, Sarah, thank you so much for, for hanging out. And everyone, yeah. make sure, please f uh, follow uh, Sarah Talamash. And uh, a, a podcast is great. Her stand-up is great. And then she you also do a bunch of great videos. I really love that. Um, I, I, I remember because you mentioned soccer. And if there was an animated video you did about, like, poop or something. Where I got accidentally put dog shit in my underwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that is so funny. Uh, and I'm sure I, I saw I think I saw it on Facebook or something, but I'm sure you can find it like on YouTube. Oh, and yeah, it's, on, it's on our um, badge podcast uh, Instagram. OK, so check that out because it's it, yeah. absolutely hilarious story. And yeah, because I remember you mentioned like soccer practice or coming from soccer practice. Yeah, I was like practicing it. in the yard. OK, uh, great story. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, sweet. So Sarah, thank you so much for hanging out. I really, really appreciate it. All right, have a, we'll play soon. Bye, Chris. All right, cheers. All right, bye.